All right, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're all having a great day. So much went on today in the Yankees community. Some of it bad, really a lot of it bad, but you know, we started off the day with a Trey Ambergy call up. Everybody's riding high off that. Looking to start the second half off strong with a four game set against Boston. And then the news comes out that, you know, there's some COVID positive tests. Don't want to get into any of that. That's all like the negative stuff. And I'm also recording this on the morning of Friday, July 16th. So still don't really know what's going on. We don't even know if there's going to be uh, baseball today when this, um, this video comes out. But let's ignore that and get into that. The Yankees, they're in talks, or at least have had talks with the Rangers for outfielder slash first baseman Joey Gallo. Now, it was first reported on, what was it, Wednesday that Joel Sherman, uh, or Joel Sherman reported that the Yankees have shown interest in Gallo. And then yesterday on Thursday, Jeff Passan of ESPN, he came out and said that the Yankees and Rangers have had conversations over Gallo, which that is a little more interesting for two reasons. One, um, not really an offense to Jewel Sherman, but Jeff Passan is kind of like the guy. Him and Ken Rosenthal is like a staple of baseball insiders. And two, when you hear they've had conversations, that kind of just gets you a little bit more excited than just that they've shown interest. Because, I mean, everybody shows interest in a great player, you know. But they've had conversations, and there's actually a video to go along with it. Not all of it's great, to be honest, because he does say that the Yankees, he thinks they may not actually do much at the deadline. But here's a clip. Let's take a look, um, and let me know what you think. I'm sure the Yankees are going to be adding much. And look... They have been in conversations about getting Joey Gallo from the Texas Rangers. Look, Joey Gallo is a very productive offensive player. He gets on base and he hits for power in, in a very oddly constructed Yankees lineup. I mean, the right field porch is sitting there just thirsting for a left-handed hitter to come there. So that was Jeff Passan discussing about the Yankees and Rangers having talks over Gallo. Um, and he brings up a great point, which we're going to get into right off the bat. Well, for starters, Gallo, he's 27 years old. Um, but yeah, he's a left-handed bat. And that is so, so needed for the Yankees lineup right now. The fact that they constructed this roster without a, not even just a power left-handed bat, but really without any left-handed bats at all is... That's a misplay of duty on their end. Um, but yeah, let's get into Gallo because I have a whole breakdown of him. Um, now, contrary, I don't want to say contrary to popular belief, but I feel like not a, lot, not a lot of people know this about him. He's an, an elite defensive right fielder. He has eight defensive runs saved. For context, Aaron Judge has six, and he's like the cream of the crop, elite of the elite. So Gallo, not only you know does he have a lot of range, but he also has arguably the second best arm out of any right fielder in baseball. Um, and he's under contract through the 2022 season. So, you know, for you guys that are saying, oh, the Yankees shouldn't go out and buy this year. There's no chance we're going to make the playoffs, no chance we're going to make the World Series, anything like that. Well, this gives us a chance going into next year as well. And anybody who wants to throw away the 2022 season, you're insane. I, I laugh at that because this team, I'm, I'm not kidding, with the right offseason, with the right moves, we'll be set up, propped up to win or to at least contend to win the American League title next year. So that's cool that he's under contract through 2022. And the Rangers, they're 35 and 55, so they're definitely looking to move some pieces, and Gallo would be one of them. Um, now, as for his 2021 stats, 84 games. Now, you see the 239 average, and I know that doesn't look great on the surface, but look at that, a 402 on base. How impressive is that? Gallo leads all of baseball in walk rate. I just 239 average to a 402 on base ratio. That's insane. 522 slugging, 24 homers, a 153 weighted runs created plus. Once again, weighted runs created plus it basically just sums up overall offensive value. League average is 100. So in this case, Gallo being 153, that means he's 53% better than a league average offensive player. For context, Aaron Judge is at a 147 this year. So Gallo has been terrific. You do see the high K rate, but to be honest, I mean, the 402 on base, you know, if, if you're getting on base at a clip north of 350, I really don't care how much you strike out. Um, and I'll get into my lineup, which kind of would reduce that being an issue. Um, three and a half war, that's also right around where Aaron Judge is at. 240 homer seasons in 17 and 18, a career way to run created plus of 118. Once again, that means he is 80% better than a league average offensive player for his career. Um, now here's where we get into the lineup. So I have two separate lineups, like I said. First, let's do the Yank the likely lineup with Joey Gallo, and it's basically similar to what they have uh, just with Gallo inserted. So leading off, DJ LeMahieu, Aaron Judge batting second. Batting third, that's where I would think they would put Joey Gallo. John Carlos Stan fourth, Gary Sanchez fifth, Luke Voigt sixth, Flavor Torres seventh, Gio Urshela eighth, Tim Castro batting ninth. Um, so yeah, that's what I think the Yankees lineup would probably be, you know, pretty standard stuff. Now, you guys already know, aren't gonna like this, but for me, um, I, I want Gallo. I'm all in on getting Joey Gallo. But the only issue is that, you know, I don't have much problem with striker hitters, but you can't be lining them up back to back to back. Like, why I have this in this likely lineup? I mean, this is kind of just asking for trouble. Judge, Gallo, Stanton, Sanchez, Voigt, all back to back to back to back to back. And I feel like that's kind of a, a recipe for disaster, really. So, my lineup, while 
as you see by Aaron Judge leading off. It's not conventional, but the way I see it, I think this is the way to go. So I'd have Aaron Judge lead off one. He's your best player, and he also gets on base a lot. Good to have him leading off. Batting second, I would then put Joey Gallo, because you could argue that he would be the Yankees' second best hitter in terms of creating runs. Um, so he would get the second most at bats on the team. And then batting third, here's where it gets kind of crazy. You're probably wondering, well, where's DJ LeMayu if he's not leading off? I have him batting third. And the reason for that, and I'll just show the rest of the lineup, reason for that being, with DJ being in there, you don't just have carbon copies of each other one after the other, you know? So I feel like that kind of separates things, spread things out, flushes the lineup a little bit, um, and then it go to, um, yeah. DJ third, Stanton fourth, Gary fifth. And then I'd have Geo batting sixth. He strikes out a little bit less. Luke Voigt 7th, Glaber towards 8th, and Tim LaCastro batting ninth. And you throw in Miguel and Duhar here and there, and probably Brett Gardner a little bit as well. Um, now, I also have Joey Gallo's fan graph page if you guys want to take a look at that. Um, you know, all the numbers that I talked to you about before. Yes down year last year you know but it's still crazy the average to on base differential even he hit 181 last year with a 301 on base year before that 19 hit 253 with a 389 on base so um the dude can walk and the dude can hit for power he also plays great defense as i mentioned before and one last thing his baseball savant page if you want to take a look at it you know obviously all you know, in the red for like average exit velocity, expected weighted on base average, barrel percentage, all that. K rate, of course, isn't good. Whiff percentage isn't good, but that kind of just goes in line with everything that I just said. Um, so yeah, um, let me know, guys. Do you would you want to make a move for Joey Gallo? I know I certainly would, but I could also understand why maybe you guys wouldn't want to. But yeah, um, that's all I'm gonna say for this video. Subscribe if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Let's go Yankees.